Greetings, YouTube. I was listening to the Gentleman uh, Gamer recently discuss a werewolf character build. Um, and he decided to go with like this teenager drug user classic werewolf idea. And I can't remember which of the clans that the character belonged to. Um, but it got me thinking that a lot of the time werewolves are given a very Norse vibe. Scandinavian vibe to them. Um, and got, okay, I'm like, all right, what if we look at where animals and their connection to different cultures? Um, or even in, in, in the context of D&D &D or, you know, some other game, um, the different races or species of hominid, you know, sapiens, the dwarf, the dwarves, the elves, the humans, the gnomes, etc. Um, and the different nationalities that we have here on Earth. So if werewolves are viewed as kind of Scandinavian, I'm assuming where bears would be as well, because bear zarkers, berserkers, that kind of make sense that the bears would be associated with as well. But there are lots of different wares, and I'm going to be using the Wikipedia reference to Dungeons and Dragons, and this covers all versions of it. Um, so this is slightly messy. Um, but we've got were bears, were boars, were tigers, were wolves, were rats. Um, we have were badgers, were bisons, were dire. And I don't know what a were dire is. It's supposed to be a were dire wolf, maybe. Um, were jaguar, were leopard. Um, shit, that seems kind of redundant. Were lion, were ram. Were saber, saber tooth cat, I guess, maybe. Um, and they spell it R-E, not E-R. Um, where sloth, that one cracks me up. Where weasel, he'd be really annoying. Fox woman, where shark, where else do we got in here? Uh, the greater where rat, uh, the devil swine. Um, where panther, the where panther lord. Uh, the where cat, where dog, where dolphin, where owl, where spider. I think I may have mentioned where spider, where raven. Where hyena, the loop de nure, um, where, where, where crocodile, where serpent, and I think that's all of the ones listed official D and D all versions up through fifth. So yes, and it's weird to think that. 5th edition is listed as 2014. Wow. I feel old. Um, so, like, how do we associate these with different cultures or races? Um, so, for example, were-rat. Is that associated with a particular culture or is that related to, like, you know, another small race? Is it associated with the gnomes and the halflings? Or is were-rat just kind of an urban thing? So we associate it with cities and not much else. Um, I'm obviously thinking we associate where sharks with races that have a lot or cultures that have a lot to do with the ocean. And do we associate them with like sort of more island type primitive peoples? And I said I say primitive, but lower tech peoples. Um, or do we say it could be anyone that is a fisherman style lifestyle? Um how about the were badger? To me, that says gnome, or or, or uh, uh, dwarf. Were bison? That's gonna be like a Native American type thing in my book. Were dire? If it's a were dire wolf, maybe like orcs. Were jaguar? Were leopard? They're going to be cultures that live in areas that have jaguars and leopards. It's kind of a given. I don't necessarily associate those with any particular race, however. Where lion, savannas, so I'm thinking an African type analog. Uh, the where ram, that could be, that makes me think dwarf in some way. I've, I've had dwarves ride rams in the past. Uh, dire rams, if I'm not incorrect. Um, maybe mountains people, alpine people might be where rams. The where saber, assuming where saber tooth cat, that would be more primitive, savage world. Kind of a vibe, uh, Savage Lands, Conan, that kind of thing. Where Sloth, 
again, jungles, and I gotta be telling you, that could be considered kind of a unfavorable view of a group that is known for being wear sloths. Um, I gotta look that up. I really do. I don't. It's the it's the Advanced Dungeons and Dragons First Edition. I do not remember Were Sloth. I'm gonna have to look them up. The Were Weasel. That make to me sounds like halfling right there. The halflings sound like Were Weasels. Um, fox Woman and and Were Foxes. To me, that's Elven and or British or both British Elves. Um, were Bat. That to me is Cave Dweller. So we kobolds or goblins that to me the kind of vibe i get with that one a wear seal i think inuit type peoples um not any particular race on that one um greater wear rat so yeah maybe that's a larger size wear rat and maybe that's human urban as opposed to maybe smaller races urban um wear panther and panther lord again cultures that live in those kind of environments wear spider that's drow, man. That is the drow. Um, as far as humans go, where spiders would be places with, known for um, having a connection to the spider, like grandmother spider. It has a, has a place in some Native American tradition, so maybe that's the kind of culture it could come from in, in our world. Where cat, I, I'm thinking witches, so less cultural and more religious based, and definitely urban as the where dog. Could be across the board. Dogs are ubiquitous, man. Where a dolphin again, like where, where sharks, where owl. Hmm. Where owl. Maybe British or Elven kind of vibe there. I'm not positive. Where raven. Again, I'm getting uh, covenants and things like covens and things like that kind of a, a, a vibe on that one. So yeah, I think I've run out of where. I mean, I'm no. I know that there are more obscure wares out there. I think I've read somewhere there were like wear swans, and you know, what I mean, if there's an animal someplace, there is a wear version of it in probably someone's fan fiction. Um, but I want to know: Do you connect lycanthropes to a particular culture or a particular race? Is it very untraditional in your world, for example? For dwarves to be werewolves, or I know our our half giants always wear bears, or at least almost commonly wear bears, that kind of thing. And what about giants? What do do giant wear versions be very large? Are they just the dire versions, so like a dire bear or dire wolf, things like that? Because um, I think it would be appropriate for a giant if they're aware, very dangerous. But they should be the bigger. They shouldn't be shrinking that down to a smaller size. But that does offer some intriguing espionage aspects now, doesn't it? Hmm. And what about things like a weird a, a stone giant who always have a kind of an elemental vibe? Are they immune to lyc lycanthropy? Or do they have a particular kind of lycanthropy that they express? So let's talk about lycanthropes. Lycanthropy is a great word, by the way really is. I thank D&D for that. It's one of the words that D&D brought into my life. Um, it's also the game that helped me teach, it helped me learn how to spell the word constitution. So let's talk about lycanthropes and how we reference them in our games, or at least in our heads, to different nations or different fantasy ethnicities. <laughs> 